Hi guys, it's Jamila. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am doing a little TBR video. I know I'm late. I'm always late. And I'm also very, very extremely pregnant. Y'all can't really see that, but I'm sorry that I've been missing. I've just been so exhausted. Honestly, sincerely exhausted too exhausted to do anything I wanted to do. So I guess for a little while y'all are gonna have to deal with me popping in and out, I'm so sorry. Okay, so let me show you guys the books that I'm wanting to read over the next couple weeks. And I'm sorry if I seem a little drained in this video. I have been feeling very drained with just everything that has been going on in regards to black issues and it's just been very mentally exhausting so I'm running low on energy honestly baby's draining me it's definitely a lot right now I have like a freaking heart monitor on right now we're not gonna get into that but anyways so the first book I want to read is get a life Chloe Brown this book was sent to me by Amanda from a reader in time she's amazing and i'm so grateful she sent this to me um when she found out i was pregnant which i just thought was literally the sweetest thing she's just such a freaking sweetheart i love her this book is about chloe brown who deals with chronic pain in her day-to-day -day life after almost dying she decides that there are some things she wants to do she comes up with seven directives for her to get a life and starts working on completing them and there's also a guy involved so i'm pretty excited about this one and i've heard a lot about it and i'm just so so excited to have this book because I've wanted to read it for so long and so far I'm not very far into it but I am absolutely loving it okay so the next book I've been talking about forever I'm not even gonna do like a long explanation of this because I've brought it up too many times but The Hunger Games by Susan Collins this book is a YA dystopian classic and I just really want to read it I've seen all the movies but I've never read the books and for me that's just like an atrocity <laughs> I am very excited to actually get to this I really hope I get to it this month the next book I want to read is Orange by Ichigo Takano this is a manga I believe it's about a girl who gets a plea from the future for her to save a student who's going to join her class from I believe losing his life this is something I'm pretty excited to get to I think it's gonna be a pretty fast read and just something to kind of get me going even though I'm a little nervous about the themes of this I hope it's not too too sad even though I have a feeling it will be um, I've been wanting to read this one since I saw I believe it was books with Chloe talk about it the next book I have on my list to read is frankly in love by David Yoon this is a book I got a little while ago I got towards the end of last year and I'm kind of in a mood for some I don't even think this is new adult I'm not even sure this might just be young adult but it has a fake dating scheme and sounds like my cup of tea so I believe this is about a young man who wants to date someone outside of his race or is secretly dating somebody outside of his race and culture and his parents will not approve if they know they want him to be with a Korean person so he fake dates a Korean person in order to appease his parents so that he can date the non-Korean person or something like that. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to read this one. And then the next book I've been reading for months, unfortunately, and that is A Torch Against the Night by Sabah Tahir. So I've been having a weird experience with this series. Like I enjoy it, but it takes me so long to read. And I kind of feel like, I don't know, like I haven't been able to get into it the way I want to, but I'm gonna try again. I am on page 162 so I'm really gonna make an effort. I low-key DNF this for a long 
time so i really want to get back into it i do remember what happened so hopefully it shouldn't be too hard but yeah i feel really bad i haven't finished this one yet even though i do enjoy it i just have like this weird relationship with these books and i need to get it together <laughs> asap and then the last book i want to get to for this month is Gemina by Amy Coffin and Jay Kristoff. I'm not so sure I support Jay Kristoff anymore for reasons. Yeah, I'm not sure. So <laughs> uh, we're just gonna say this is by Amy Coffin. <laughs> Um, this is the second book in the Illuminate Files. I really enjoyed the first book. I really liked the uh, mixed media format and I also liked how they added in like a disease and an AI and all of those things. These books are set in space and uh, follow humans surviving in space. So these books are just so pretty i got this one used so you guys that is my tbr for june i hope you guys enjoyed this video but once again i'm very sorry for not being super lively but i don't do the whole faking it thing <laughs> like i'm not gonna act like i have a bunch of energy if i don't but yeah so <laughs> i don't know what i'm talking about uh, I just filmed a really stressful video as well before this that just took all my energy. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.